hello friends welcome back to the tutorials in this tutorial we will learn about complements of a number for base or radix r there can be two types of complements one is the radix complement it is also called r's complement another is diminished radix complement it is also called r minus 1's complement where R is the base or radix of the system. Suppose there is a number n whose base or radix is R and this number n has n number of digits. Then its radix complement or R's complement will be R raised to power n minus n. Here this n means the number of digits of the number n and r minus 1's complement or diminished radix complement of this number n will be r raised to power n where r is the base or radix of the number this small n means the number of digits in number n r raised to power n minus 1 minus capital N. Here capital N is the number itself. So from this formula we can conclude that radix complement of a number is equal to its diminished radix complement plus 1. So we, if we have a diminished radix complement of a number then by adding 1 to it we can get its radix complement. First of all, we will study about the diminished radix complement. Decimal number system is of base or radix 10. So its diminished radix complement or we can say r minus 1's complement is 9's complement because here the base or radix is 10. Value of r will be 10. So r minus 1's complement is 9's complement. And uh, we know that the formula for a diminished radix complement or r minus 1's complement is r raised to power n minus 1 minus n. In case of decimal number system, this value r raised to power n minus 1 is equal to 10 raised to power n minus 1 because r signifies the base and here the base is 10 and this is small is the number of digits in the number n. So the value of 10 raised to power n minus 1 is a number of n 9 digits. 10 raised to power n minus 1 will be a number of n 9 digits. So, nice complement of a decimal number will be 10 raised to power n minus 1 minus n. So it would be a number of n 9 digits minus the number n. So if we have to find the ninth complement of a decimal number n, right, we will have to subtract its each digit from 9. See here. There is a number 5467. Suppose we have to find its 9 complement. Then we can find its 9 complement by subtracting its each digit from number 9. So when we subtract 7 from 9, we will get 2. 
when we subtract 6 from 9 we will get 3 when we subtract 4 from 9 we will get 5 when we subtract 5 from 9 we will get 4 so the nice complement of this number is 4 5 3 2 now in binary number system the base or radix is 2 so here the diminished complement is one's complement suppose there is a binary number n of n bits and we have to find its one's complement right here the diminished radix complement or r minus one's complement of uh, binary numbers is one's complement because binary numbers are of base or radix 2. <coughs> so the one's complement of a binary number n of n bits is 2 raised to power n because here the value of r or base is 2 and this is small n is the number of digits or number of bits in number n. So it's one's uh, complement of number n is 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus number itself. Now look at this term 2 raised to power n minus 1. 2 raised to power n minus 1 will be a number of n 1 bits. 2 raised to power n minus 1 will be a binary number which have n 1 bits. Now to find the one's complement of a binary number we need to subtract that number from this term 2 raised to power n minus 1. So it means we need to subtract that binary number from a number from a binary number of n 1 bits. It means we need to subtract its each digit, each binary digit from 1. So the 1's complement of a binary number is obtained by changing its each bit from 1 to 0 and from 0 to 1. Suppose this is a binary number 111001 then its once complement can be obtained by changing each bit from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. Now this bit is 1 it will be changed to 0 these two bits are 0 then they will be changed to 1 1 and these three bits these all are 1 so they will be changed to 0. Now the radix complement. The radix complement or r's complement of uh, a n digit number n where r is its base or radix is r raised to power n minus capital N. Capital N is the number itself, R is the base and N is the number of digits in number capital N. Now in decimal number system the base or radix of numbers is 10. So their radix complement would be 10's complement. So it can be obtained by subtracting the number from 10 raised to power N. We know that 10 raised to power n is a number which has 1 and it is followed by n number of zeros. Right. So the tens complement of a number can be obtained by leaving its signi uh, least significant zeros, by leaving its least significant zeros unchanged. And it's a uh, first 
least significant non-zero digit should be subtracted from 10 and other higher significant digits should be subtracted from 9. So suppose we have to find the tens complement of this number. Then what will we do? We will leave these least significant zero digits unchanged right these would be zero zero now first least significant non-zero digit that is five should be subtracted from ten when it is subtracted subtracted from ten the result would be five now the higher significant digits should be subtracted from nine when they are subtracted from nine when we subtract six from nine the result would be three and when we subtract 2 from 9, the result would be 7. Then, in binary number system, the base or radix of numbers is 2. So, here the radix complement would be 2's complement. 2's complement of a n digit number, capital N. Suppose there is a capital N which denotes a binary number whose number of digits is or say number of bits is small n then two's complement of that binary number would be 2 raised to power n minus this capital n we know that 2 raised to power n can be represented by a binary number 1 which is followed by n number of zeros when the value of n is 2, suppose there is a number 2 raised to power 2, then its a binary representation or a binary number that will represent this value 2 raised to power 2 will be a 1 followed by 2 0, 1 0 0, right? Now what so how we can find a two's complement of a binary number? First, leave the least significant bits which are zero unchanged, right? Those uh, means uh, the leftmost bits which are zero will be left unchanged. And first least significant one that is first least significant non-zero pair will also be left unchanged right and other higher bits right these are the other higher bits what will we do these with uh, these bits we will subtract each bit from 1 right it means we will change these higher significant bits from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so suppose we have to find the two's complement of this binary number these leftmost 0 bits will be left unchanged that is 0 0 and this least significant first one right this least significant non-zero digit first non-zero bit will also be left unchanged and for what will we do with these higher significant bits we will change them from one to zero and zero to one so this one will be changed to zero this zero will be changed to one this one will be changed to 0 and this one will also be changed to 0. So the number would be 0010100. This is the 2's complement of this number. Now suppose we have to, uh, there is one more thing. Complement of complement of a number n is always n. Right. Thank you very much.